Separate news, FTX has signed a deal to buy BlockFi for up to $240 million, rescuing that troubled lender as well. Let's bring in crypto bull and Fundstrat co-founder Tom Lee. Tom, it's uh, it's great to see you. And uh, let's let's just start, you know, with crypto and where it's situated. Obviously, the price declines in Bitcoin and, and other coins have precipitated uh, the shock to the system. We have a little bit of a, uh, you know, kind of the asset liability mismatch type stuff and, and essentially liquidity issues around the uh, ecosystem. What does it mean, do you think, for the asset class to go through something like this at this point? Uh, this is this is a really important moment for the industry. Um, you know, it's the equivalent of a large deleveraging episode where folks have discovered that some of the programming and codes don't really secure collateral properly and uh, decentralized finance is, is coming into question. So I think there's a lot of reasons this is an important moment for the industry. And, you know, it's a painful lesson for investors. Uh, I think that one of the big takeaways I'd have is that without question, when it comes to handling money, uh, you know, technology and code is not the only important factor. You know, some sort of structure on regulations and accounting and identifying collateral and counterparties is important. And I think these are the sort of the developments that need to be added to the next set of projects and blockchains. So those are obviously this is going to iterate and they're going to try to figure it out on, on the technology side. Uh, what about for those people who really were just viewing it principally as an asset class, as something to own, whether it's because of momentum or because they were big believers in the digital gold uh, uh, attributes or anything like that? Uh, can, can it come back from this, I guess, is the big question. Um, yeah, I think it's going to come back. Um, Bitcoin's actually held up, I think, tremendously well. As you know, Bitcoin was 2,500 just three years ago. And even though it's down from its highs, it's actually still around 20,000 and uh, near some pretty important support levels. But also, you know, the Bitcoin blockchain, for instance, has has functioned pretty well. It hasn't actually had uh, any sort of knock on effects except for price adjusting. But, uh, you know, Bitcoin security, there hasn't been any hacks. It's still processing a lot of transactions and moving a lot of value. And so I think it's it's showing that parts of the crypto system work really well. But a lot of these sort of cutting edge, innovative projects and you know, attempts to offer yield and leverage and allowing what customers and investors thought was excess return turned out to be uh, phantom or borrowing from the future. And I think that's that's really the lesson here. But to me, you know, the, the core sort of the core pieces like Ethereum and Bitcoin have actually held up really well.